I'm going to weld this onto this so that I can put this on it so that I can go get that little white Sonic that is up there at the hospital and left me stranded it wouldn't start the second time that this thing's done it first time I towed it back here and I replaced the ECM on it and that was about a month ago now it's doing the same thing so I don't know if it's the ECM again or what's going on but I can promise you one thing try to do a video here I think it's got ghost in it and I ain't calling Ghostbusters. That thing's going back to the dealer and I'm going to trade it in on something else. Now, I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to mount this thing at. I think I'm going to take this tube here and mount it right there. But I don't think it's going to be tall enough. Nope. I got to be careful because I can't do anything to block this. If I block this, then I won't be able to replace that wood. If I put it on, I mean, this is, I don't know, this is pretty thin metal. I put it there, tried towing it from there. It's potentially going to bend that. I don't know. Let me do some thinking. If you guys got any ideas, comment below. Let me know. Although, by the time I post this video, I'll already be done. So, anyway, let's get to it. All right, I think I figured out how I'm going to do it. Let me turn this fan off. I think I'm going to take some of this square tubing here, weld it on here. I'm going to have to do two pieces of it. And then I'll set that bracket right here. This is so thin. I think if I put much weight on that, it's going to want to bend it. I want something that I can do more than just pull a car with. So that's the way I'm going to roll. So let's try that. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to weld these two together and then I'm going to mount them right here. I can get pretty good welds on those. Um, you know, they're same size as that so I could put that right there and then I can mount that plate basically just like that. I think that'll work. Yeah, because I'm going to put this on here like that, and yeah, I think that'll work. Let's get started on that, kitty cat. Hey, that rhymed. What I need to do is weld these two things together. So let me clear off some of this. They're really not that bad. So I'll go ahead and warn you, I am not a professional welder. I'm not even an amateur welder, but I got a welder. So we're going to try it. I got these cleaned up a little. Um, I'm going to put them together and weld them onto here. So let's see what we can do to get those things welded together.
metal wire. Well, I'm back. I don't have any more wire. So I brought the stick welder out. If you thought I sucked with that one, you gotta see me with this one. But for what we're doing, it should work okay. If I can get it to weld. I don't know, we'll try it, let's see. It ain't pretty. But anyway, so now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna weld it onto here. But I think it would probably would make more sense to weld this on it. I know to some of you professional welders out there or even amateur welders, this is probably painful to watch, so my apologies, but I think I mentioned it. I'm not a professional welder, not even an amateur welder, but I'm trying. The only way to get better is to make mistakes and learn from them. So let's try this. Cat, you gonna get burnt? <laughs> You guys are probably just getting a shot of my butt. Next thing that I have is this little receiver that'll go in here and then I'm going to mount this plate on it just like that and that winch will sit right here and that way I can take it out and use it on the vehicle. So let me clean up paint off of these. So I've got that cleaned up and then I'm going to weld it. Here's how that looks. I say it's not pretty, but it ain't going nowhere. At least I hope it's not. All right, I think we got, definitely got good penetration on that. Now it's time to get the winch mounted. I'm almost thinking we have to mount this first. Let's see how they're suggesting doing that. This cat will not leave me alone. Okay, these instructions suck. 
they don't show you anything at all about how to mount that. I think Badland translates to bad instructions in China. Guys, I'm pretty much running out of light here. I'm just going to finish tightening these up and then get it wired up. So we'll take a look at it in the daylight. The cat says hi. I don't know if the camera is foggy. It kind of looks foggy. Hopefully it's not because, I don't know, it looks okay. Of course, we got our cat back. So it is the next morning. I went ahead and I got everything wired up just to test it. And then I found this box here. This is a 15 and 3 quarter tactical ammo utility box. I don't know where I got it. I've had this for a while. And then I've got this little 50 amp hour lifetime LifePo battery here. I'll post a link in the description. And it fits perfectly in this box. Now this fits in here and then all of the control systems fit in here. And I have a little quick disconnect that I purchased a while back just laying around. I'm going to put this on the terminals that go to the winch itself and then I'm just going to hook the positive and the negative up to the battery. Should be good to go with that. Should be. I've got a couple errands to run this morning so I'm going to work on this this afternoon and then and hopefully I can go get that car up at the hospital before it gets towed away. I don't think it will. I mean people sit at hospitals forever and what happens to the people that die? I guess their family comes and gets their car, but what if they don't have a family? Does the hospital get free cars?